Humanitarians have long worked to prevent the recruitment and use of children by armed groups and to facilitate the release and reintegration of those who cannot avoid association. But as conflicts become more complex, and when those recruiting children are terrorist or viewed as violent extremist groups, the question arises, is our standard approach fit for purpose for addressing the scourge? The United Nations University, in collaboration with UNICEF, the Department of Peacekeeping Operations, and Luxembourg and Switzerland, has run a two-year research initiative to examine the trajectories of children into and out of armed groups in contemporary conflict. The Syrian civil war has created intense pressures and incentives for children to align themselves with some armed group for self-preservational reasons, and this has made neutrality impossible for many children. In areas controlled by armed groups, alignment with one of these groups is necessary for economic and physical survival. La radicalisation religieuse n'est pas mise en exergue dans notre étude. Les communautés expliquent les raisons du recrutement par l'injustice, la faiblesse et la corruption des agents de l'État, la pauvreté extrême, les manques d'opportunités économiques pour les jeunes, etc. The child soldiers I spoke to had a difficult road to recovery. They may seem resilient not because it is in their nature, but by necessity to survive. No one is happy where they are now. Our assumption that children can remain unaffiliated in armed conflict is deeply flawed. When children live under armed group control, neutrality may not be an option. As we begin to work with the practitioner community to distill these research findings into practical, actionable programmatic guidance, it is important to remember that even when the guns of war go silent, the challenges and stressors children face do not necessarily end.